That crab's gonna get annihilated right here. We're on it. Oh my goodness, a pompano hit it. Are you kidding me? Fish on, guys. Black drum. Let's go. Little baby black drum on the live fiddler crab. That's a baby right there. These guys get up so big, man. But that's a little baby. Took the uh, live fiddler crab. Pretty cool. We got three dozen live filler crab, so we're gonna use them up and try to catch black drum and uh, sheep's head. Those are the two main targeted species today, but we will take anything that'll bite the uh, filler crab. But let's put this guy back in the water. Peace out. Let's try to get a keeper, something bigger than that guy. We're out here on the beach. Beautiful day. Not as hot. Uh, it's a little bit, little bit gloomy, but um, I can deal with this. I'd rather have this than, you know, 110 degrees scorching hot out. Here we go. Got a lot of, lot of bait in there. Three dozen fiddler crab. We're using a size one out circle hook today. 20 pound leader material, 10 pound braid, super light tackle. I believe the school is still out there. They're a little bit further out, but um, they're like right there. Let's see if we can't get a keeper here. Here we go. There's a school out there. School of black drum. They're not bad big, but they're, they're fun to catch though, for sure. There it is. Oh, this one's a sheep's head. Good size sheep's head too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yo, look, at, look at this guy, man. That's a freaking stud. Come back here, buddy. He's not a stud, he's, he's decent. Check him out. Look at that. He's a little bit darker uh, colored. You would think they'd be lighter because they're on the beach and the water's super clear, but this guy is a little bit darker here. Pretty cool, man. We're actually gonna keep this guy. Throw them in the box. Got them right on the corner of the mouth. One out circle hook right there. There it is, came right off. All right, in the cooler he goes. I'm not sure if it's a school of sheep's head out there or a black drum, but I caught a black drum and a sheep's head. So I guess they're mixed in. The school, the school is still out there. Hopefully uh, they don't get spooked. Hopefully they stay there for a while so I can catch them back to back. We're just freelining today, no weights or anything. This is why I love freelining because it's so natural, such a natural presentation that when you cast, it's a very, very subtle drop versus you having like a split shot or, or a egg sinker. That was so sick, guys. The sheep's head came up and it freaking inhaled the, uh, inhaled the fiddler crab on surface. So I pitched it back to the school and got this guy here. Same size. Got sheepy on the beach. Gotta love it. You know, I think the scenery is everything. <laughs> Being out here on the beach, catching the catching fish, can't complain. Just comes right off, just like that. That's two sheep's head so far. We got a smaller crab right there. Tiny, but they'll still bite it. Size one out circle hook. Just like that.
pitch it to the school. I just wait for the bite. Oh, big one. Big one. Small bait, big fish. Oh my goodness. It let go right there or it came off. Man, that was a decent sized one too. Let's go put another crab on here. All right, I'm gonna bring this over here. Makes sense. Hopefully the water doesn't wash over the rocks and wash my bucket in. Same deal, hooking it from the bottom and then out on the side, just like that. Tiny crab right here, man. Tiny crab, big fish. This one's gonna get annihilated. Run. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Oh yeah. Stud. Stud sheepy. Right here, guys. <laughs> no, you gotta go out far. Literally right on the beach. Check him out. Look at this guy, man. He's a little bit lighter. Oh, he's barely good, too. Stud. Getting on him. This comes right off. Circle hook. All right, that's our third sheep's head for the day. All right, here we go. Ooh, right on top of the school, man. That, that crab's gonna get annihilated right here. We're on it. Oh my goodness, a pompano hit it. Are you kidding me? No way. That's a keeper pompano, guys. Freaking hit the free line. <laughs> Spindler crab, can you believe that? Oh my goodness. Pompano hit the free line. Spindler crab. Stud. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness, here we go. That's a stud pompano, I can't lose him. Bring him over here. Let's go, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go. Pompano on the fiddler crab. That's first. Man, I'm so pumped right now. That's funny because we were targeting these guys in the morning and uh, I caught two smaller pompano, but I guess these pompano hang around sheep's head near structure, over here at least. But let's put this guy in the box. <laughs> Man, that's a freaking solid pompano. That circle hook, size number one aught circle hook, got him right on the corner of the mouth. Pretty good too. Fishing live fiddler crab. Never thought I'd catch pompano with a, a fiddler crab. That's a first for me. So sick, man. All right, let's, uh, let's keep on fishing. Still a lot of crabs left. Big or small, doesn't matter. The big ones will still eat it either way. Here we go. There it is. Black drum. Nope, sheep's head. Little guy. Little sheepy. That's the smallest sheep's head of the day. See you, dude. Oh, he didn't know where to go. <laughs> let it be a pompano. Or let, let it be a school of pompano. Ouch. Filler crab just pinched me. I'm trying to get this filler crab out there ASAP. There we go. There it is. 
Schicken. Again, got him right on the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be. Man, we are crushing it right now. I think we got four sheep's head. You're allowed eight. You're allowed eight per person, I think. Look at that. Let's see if we can get a decent sized sheep's head on it. Super tiny. Check that out. Super small. Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can cast this thing to them. Oh yeah. That's gonna get munched. Big one, big one. On the small crab. Stud sheep. Goodness. Look at this guy. What a beast. Check him out. Man, gotta love it. The bite's on fire right now. Looks like we're gonna call it right here. Uh, the school of sheep's head moved way out there and I just can't get the bait to them. I'm sure if I have a split shot, I could probably send this bait out there and uh, I'll continue to catch them. But I don't have any split shots with me right now, so we're just gonna have to call it. And we'll come back out here again uh, some other day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you next week. Peace. Might be a pompano. He freaking inhaled it and started stripping drag. Man. Oh, no, no, no. Osprey. Osprey trying to get it. Osprey trying to get my fish. I don't know what it is yet, guys. Pompano. He snagged. He snagged. Oh my God. That's a big pump right there. He definitely went for it though. Check that out, man. <laughs> we were getting ready to leave and uh, wow. Beautiful Pompano.